Hi there, this is Allison with Let's Go Travel Tips. Today we have got COVID health protocol updates for Princess Cruise Lines and it does involve boosters. And so first of all, I would like to welcome all of our Let's Go family members here. Thank you very much for coming. And also a really big welcome to all of you who are new. We've got a lot of new people here and we are really glad that you are here with us. Also, if there are any of you here that have not subscribed yet, we would invite you to please subscribe. We have an amazing Let's Go family here and we talk a lot about what updates are, what's going on on cruise ships, and a lot we share a lot of travel information and we think that you would be a great addition. And so, like I said, we have got COVID health protocols updates for Princess Cruise Lines. And for the longest time, when you first came to their page on their website, there was always just this list that had been there. And it, you know, it went through, you know, you need to be vaccinated. You need to show proof of that vaccination. You need to show proof of a negative COVID test within two days of embarkation and you need to wear a mask. That has been that way ever since they introduced those protocols. But today it reads a little bit different. So let me tell you what it says. Now it is in, it is sub, separated into three different sections. There is the vaccinations, the testing and masks. And so let me tell you what it says. So first of all, under vaccinations, it says, guests must have received their final dose of an authorized COVID-19 vaccine at least 14 days before the beginning of the cruise and provide acceptable proof at the terminal check-in. The next thing it says are that boosters are highly recommended for those eligible at least seven days before. And then it goes on to the testing section. It says guests must provide proof at the terminal of a negative viral COVID-19 test, PCR or antigen, taken within two days of embarkation. And then the last section there is masks. Guests will be required to wear a face mask indoors at all times and outdoors when physical distancing cannot be maintained. The thing that I find so very interesting about that, and I don't know if it's an oversight, quite frankly, or um, if they meant to leave it like that, but the way they present this information on their pages, they have that, and then below that is an FAQ, just with all of these frequently asked questions, and they do a nice job of, um, like answering a lot of questions that people would have about these kind of things. But they have at this section that's been there for a while now, basically since we've had boosters, that um, it says, do I need a COVID-19 vaccine booster to be considered fully vaccinated? And here's what I find really interesting. It says that COVID-19 vaccine boosters are strongly recommended by the U.S. CDC for, ages, for everyone ages 16 years and older. We are also actively administering boosters to our crew. At this time, booster doses are not required to embark. Guests who have received the full series of the US FDA or World Health Organization authorized COVID-19 vaccines or a combination of authorized vaccines and have received the last dose at least 14 days before the beginning of the um, cruise are considered fully vaccinated. However, Certain destinations may require boosters depending on which vaccination guests received and the time that has passed since the completion of the initial vaccine series. Please ensure that you are familiar with the requirements for the destinations that you plan to visit. So clearly they aren't to the point that they are requiring boosters to embark, but I honestly believe that they are moving towards that. And I think that um, this is just my opinion, but as we get closer to this um, season opening in Europe, a lot of those countries are requiring vaccines and they are requiring, and if they don't require it, like in France, if, if you come on a cruise ship and you want to disembark, you have to have a vaccine and proof of it. But some of the countries don't require that yet. I would be surprised if they don't, but a lot of them require that you show proof of vaccine if you wanna go in a restaurant, if you wanna go in a museum, 
lots of countries over there require that. And so I think that really to be able to cruise over there, you're going to have to have the booster because there, um, like in France, like you have to get your booster or else your little vaccine um, pass expires. And so you could be vaccinated just with your initial series, but if you don't keep up with the booster, you're not going to be going to the museums and to the restaurants and everywhere else. And so that's just how it's working. So I'm wondering if they're kind of positioning themselves for that, as well as trying to determine if it would be um, beneficial to try to keep their um, guest population safer and have fewer COVID cases. And so that's what I'm wondering, but I wanted to get this right out to you so that you would all know. I don't know if it's going to be um, how many people are going to know or how soon Princess will be talking about it or the other cruise lines as well as I know that they're trying to navigate these um, hard times as well. So I just thought I would bring you that update. I would love to hear from you all what you think about that. If you've got any cruises planned to some places that you think might be requiring the booster and um, just kind of any, um, any thoughts that you've got. I will, um, I really appreciate it. If you appreciate these updates, would you please give this video a thumbs up as that will really help us. I really appreciate you, so thanks. I'll be talking to you all again really soon. You all take really good care. God bless you. Love you. Bye-bye.